United Nations Secretary General is warning of looming famine in Somalia as it faces its worst drought in decades. Antonio Guterres says climate change has created chaos. He's imploring the international community to act. Urgent humanitarian assistance is needed for some 8.3 million Somalis. And we must now act to prevent a catastrophe. The 2023 humanitarian response plan, which seeks 2.6 billion US dollars, is just 15% funded. When famine looms, this is totally unacceptable. Al Jazeera's Catherine Soy reports from Baidoa. The UN Secretary General has visited Somalia many times before because of drought and violence. But this time, the drought is worse. Five rainy seasons have failed in the Horn of Africa. Somalia is the most affected. More than 40,000 people have died in the last one and a half years. Many more have had to leave their homes. Guterres is here to call for much needed humanitarian support. We have launched an appeal to the international community. Only 15% of that appeal has been funded until now. The international community has been absent-minded in relation to the drama of the people of Somalia. It's time to look seriously into these people that is suffering too much. The city of Baidoa is badly hit. Many Somalis are coming here from different areas, but help in the camps is limited. Some are also fleeing conflict as the government carries out an offensive against the armed group Al-Shabaab. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed says his government is winning the war. At the moment, we're working together with other international partners, the stabilization program of the post-Al-Shabaab or the liberated areas. This will look to the UN to increase critical investment in these areas as these people, as our citizens, has been denied the accessibility of civil ser services for a long time. The army has taken back important areas held by the group for many years. Al-Shabaab is still able to carry out attacks and scare people. Guterres' visit shows a glimpse of how uncertain things are here. Mogadishu was partially locked down, major roads were closed, and no one was taking chances. But that uncertainty is a life of many Somalis who call this home. We can now speak to Catherine Soy, who joins us live from Mogadishu. So the UN Secretary General also calling for massive international support for Somalia. Any sign the world is responding to that call? Well, the Secretary General has, was here for two days and he held a press conference earlier today. And basically, he's here to ramp up this humanitarian um, efforts um, because he's saying many, many people in Somalia are suffering. So we went with him uh, to a region uh, in the southwest uh, where thousands of people are making their way to that area uh, in Baidoa, um, just trying to get help but then uh, the assistance there is very very uh, limited and people are living rough so the secretary general basically uh, had uh, conversations with people who are displaced there about their needs which are massive uh, and he also called on the, inter uh, the international community to do more to avert uh, a famine because thousands of people, uh, 40,000 people actually, have died in the last one and a half years. Uh, the, the Secretary General also held talks uh, with the President about um, the, you know, the, secu the security situation in the country. We have been talking to many Somalis uh, who are saying that beyond the aid, beyond the help that they need, they want to see more in terms of measures of resilience because uh, a lot of Somalis are saying that uh, they need to break away from this cycle of violence and, and drought that we have seen for so many years. All right, thanks so much, Catherine Soy.